What's up guys, Josh here. And in today's video, we're going to be going over the best budget pre-built gaming desktops that you can get for under $800 right now. So I've made plenty of videos over the last couple months about pre-built gaming PCs just skyrocketing in price. Uh, recently, NZXT raised their entire starter PC series by like 300 uh, on some models, 200 on some others. So a starter PC that used to cost $699 now costs you $999. And you get like an i5-9400F or an i3-9100F and a GTX 1650 for $1,000. So I mean, prices are going up no matter which way you look at it, whether you're trying to buy components to build your own PC or just buy a pre-built gaming PC that you can just plop on your desk and start gaming tomorrow, the prices are going up and there's nothing gamers can do about it. And that's why in this video, I really wanted to go through just like the last group of PCs that haven't gone up in price really at all. So all of these PCs you can get for under $800. Now all these PCs are really going to excel at like 1080p, 60 to 120 FPS. Uh, you're not gonna get crazy frames, uh, but you might even be able to see some light 1440p gaming on these pre-builds. And between me and you, we will be buying one of these four budget PCs to both review and give away. So definitely get subscribed to the channel so you don't miss that. So let's kick it off with one of my favorites, one that I always go back to, and that is the Dell G5. And the base configuration comes in at $735. I've spec'd it up a little bit up to 784, but what we get is an i3-10100, so four cores, eight threads, right in that sweet spot for just 1080p gaming. Uh, we get a GTX 1650 Super. We could even spec that up to a 1660 Super for $49. Gets us a little bit over that $800 price point. But with the i3, I'd probably stick with the 1650 Super for the time being. Uh, you can still play, like I said, 1080p all day. Uh, but if you wanted maybe a little bit extra frames, kick it off with some 1440p, then you could always upgrade to the 1660. And that's honestly a really good price for that upgrade. We're keeping it with the base 360 watt power supply, eight gigs of RAM, so it is single channel. It's only running one stick of RAM, but that is always something you can upgrade down the line. And then this is where I really made the upgrade and that is to throw in a 128 gig M.2 uh, SSD and a one terabyte hard drive. So base configuration, just a, a terabyte hard drive, no solid state storage, which you'll, no solid state storage whatsoever. So I threw in a 128 just so we get Windows on there, but maybe your favorite programs on that SSD to speed things up when you really, really need it. So for $783 for this particular build, it's honestly not that bad at all. Again, these are pretty much the exact same components that is in the NZXT starter PC for over $200 less. So Dell has been pretty consistent in their pricing, uh, especially with their upgrades, but shipping dates have continued to get pushed back. So this thing's not expected to ship until the beginning of June, so over a month out. So just keep that in the back of your mind if you are going to order one of these PCs. And the next one we're gonna look at is the HP Pavilion Gaming Desktop. And this is one of their newer versions of the HP Pavilion that has pretty much just come out and it's using all AMD hardware. So we're getting a Ryzen 3 5300G. That's a four core, eight thread APU. It also has a six core GPU built into the chip itself. So you don't even technically need a graphics card in this PC and you'd probably still be able to get 60 FPS, 1080p gaming all day. So these are those new Ryzen APUs that have launched just for the OEMs. And this thing looks pretty sweet. Uh, we also get eight gigs of RAM, just like we are getting with the Dell, but we're getting two by four gig dim. So we will be able to use dual channel and it's clocked at 3,200 megahertz. Big up for HP with this one. Uh, we're also getting a 256 gig SSD, no secondary storage. So if you wanted to throw in another terabyte, uh, it would be an extra 49 bucks. And at $649 for this model, that's honestly a steal. I'm honestly kind of surprised that HP is charging this for this particular PC, but hey, it's a great deal for gamers, uh, especially if you're on a budget and you're just trying to get into PC gaming. Uh, we also get a Radeon RX 5500. So not a 5500 XT, but the non XT version that they made specifically for OEMs. So it's not gonna have as good of performance as let's say that 5500 XT,
but it's probably close to a 1650 non super. Uh, whereas you can see, you can upgrade to a 1650 super for an extra hundred bucks. I wouldn't do that to just keep costs down. Uh, but even if we were to upgrade to a 1650 super, it would only bring the price up to $760, still well within line uh, with that Dell G5. So either way, four cores, eight threads, and a nice budget graphics card to go with the build. So this deal, just based on pure specs, might be my new favorite gaming PC for the money. $650 for this hardware is honestly a really, really nice deal. But we still have a couple more PCs to look at that still come in under $800 and get you some awesome components. So now we're gonna go over to Newegg and look at the Acer Nitro 50. So you can find these Acer Nitro 50s kind of all over the place, whether it's Amazon or Best Buy or Newegg. Uh, but I found this one on Newegg and it has an i5 10400F, 8 gigs of RAM, 512 gig SSD, and a GTX 1650 for $791. So it's a little bit pricey, but you do get an i5, so you jump up from the i3 and the Dell, and you also drop down from a 1650 Super to a 1650, which is a decent drop in performance. Um, so the price isn't super compelling, but you do jump up to 512 gig of SSD storage and still at eight gigs of RAM, which I would assume to be single channel. The one nice thing about this build is it does have a full size ATX 500 watt power supply and the case has quite a bit of ventilation. So I wouldn't worry about like overheating, especially with these components that are inside. Uh, you have all the ventilation on the side, some ventilation at the front uh, at 791 bucks to jump to an i5, drop to a 1650. I don't know that it's better or worse than the Dell or the HP. Uh, in terms of hardware, it's probably a little worse just in terms of the graphics performance. You're gonna be able to game at higher frame rates on the Dell and the HP. But overall, a really, really good build, solid components, and some good future proofing. So those are our builds from some of the you know big OEMs, especially Dell and HP. But let's take a look at a build on Best Buy from iBuyPower. So iBuyPower has recently released this newer line of Slate MR gaming desktops. And this one particularly has an i3-10100, eight gigs of RAM, a GTX 1650, and a 500 gig SSD for $780. So this is very, very similar to the Dell build. The only thing is, of course, we dropped from the GTX 1650 Super down to a 1650, and the price is pretty much exactly the same. The only real thing is we jump up to a 4 the only real thing is we jump up to a 480 gig SSD with this one instead of that 128 and a one terabyte hard drive. But overall, this iBuyPower has that more you know, custom built look to it. Of course, the case is iBuyPower, it's branded iBuyPower, but it's for the most part consumer hardware. Now, the one interesting thing about this build on Best Buy is that you can't have it delivered, but you can pick it up at your local Best Buy if they have them in stock, which they do at my local Best Buy. So I could potentially add this to my cart and have it for local pickup at my Best Buy within six days. So the Acer you can get in like a week or so, you know, shipping direct from Newegg, they have these in stock. The I buy power from Best Buy, you're gonna have to do local pickup. And I forgot to mention on the HP, but it is expected to ship at the end of May. So there we have it. Those are kind of my top four PCs under $800. These are the best budget bills that you can get your hands on right now that aren't overpriced, but should still deliver really good 1080p gaming performance. Now, I will say my favorite one out of the bunch is probably that HP Pavilion. Uh, one, because it's the newer hardware from AMD in terms of the CPU or the APU. Um, it does have that RX 5500. That thing is pretty sweet for $650 and ships at the end of the month. But let me know what you guys think. You know, what is your favorite out of these four PCs? Is there another budget pre-built that you're looking at that I did not mention in this video? Uh, definitely leave all of that in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. That way you can stay up to date on all my latest videos. And I hope to see you guys in the next one.